Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Rockwood. This is their part number, RS-2-825-630. Now, I don't know a lot about this because it doesn't show up in any catalog. I imagine that Rockwood had a, my, my theory is Rockwood had a client that said, listen, I want some door stops. I want it to be you know, two and a half inch long. I want it to be, you know, the metal itself to be about three quarter and then about half inch. And I want you to apply some black self-adhesive sponge type neoprene to it, which they probably get from Pemco, would be my guess, their sister company. And they created a drawing for this. Maybe someone ordered 2,000 of these. They created a drawing and then somehow that drawing got, you know, out to the public. And now I've had people contact me about this RS-2-825, which is not a part number of Rockwoods, um, but here it is. And the dimensional properties I've given you, this is 630 finish, which means two things. It means it's made of solid stainless steel and that it is in a brushed finish. Now, where would you use this item? Well, it's meant to be a doorstop. So anywhere where you needed something relatively robust, even though it's small, this weighs 0.26 pound, um, at least it does, including the two fasteners for the countersunk holes that are here. Um, you know, to stop uh, realistically a full-size door, maybe maybe used up at the at the top of the door to to uh, a, a, on the header for a pair of doors. I would say that you could surface mount it. I would consider even mortising it into the stop itself so that it was quite concealed, which might have a lot to do with the thickness, about a half of an inch. I think we said. Um, so your guess is as good as mine as to why this exists, but they call it a doorstop, so it's going to be used in some sort of application like that. Having said that, uh, my theory about someone contacting Rockwood and say, hey, I need a thousand of these, two and a half by half inch by three quarter inch, that is exactly in Rockwood's wheelhouse. Right now I'm having them manufacture me a small quantity of custom one-off material, and I have had them over time manufacture me custom one-off material. They all but encourage the requests. Um, quite frankly, as far as I'm concerned, this would be scrap material for Rockwood, so it should prove to be relatively easy for them to make um, pretty easily, would be my, my, my thought process on that. If you're looking at this video, somehow someone came up with this part number and then the drawing that's linked to down below this video, and here's what it actually looks like. Um, you know, attractive, smart piece of simple material, simple architectural material that is used for you know architectural applications. I can tell that that is a sponge type neoprene that's there. Foam, okay. So let's switch to the screen view and let's take a closer look at that uh, drawing that I referred to just now. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is indeed that item that we're looking at here. Dimensional properties are all linked to half inch of that applied self-adhesive foam rubber that's there. They call it rubber. It's, it, you have two types of neoprene. It's closed cell or open cell. The closed cell would be like car tire. The open cell would be foam-like. And this is definitely open cell material, which is what you'd want for a doorstop, quite frankly. Um, closed cell neoprene is a bit rigid, a bit stiff for a door closer app, for a doorstop application. Okay, so where you're going to use this, let your imagination run wild with it. If you look at the date down here of the of the drawing, it's obviously been around for a long time, um, almost 20 years at this point. But nonetheless, there it is. And then, as I had said earlier, if you are looking for some modification to this, don't hesitate and ask. As I said earlier, uh, Rockwood all but encourages custom requests, even to the point where it, her. Uh, Mother company, Asa Abloy, put out a marketing statement that said, you have something custom you want, you have a pen and a paper, sketch it and send it to us and we'll look to quote it. The attitude at Rockwood and her sister companies is that they, if they have the material and the machinery, they will happily make this material for you. Okay. Now, there is in the website, or however you get to it, a link to manufacturers. It's currently here. And when you search manufacturers and go to Rockwood and you click on that link, you're going to be able to pull up not only all of the Rockwood products that we sell, 
by means of that horizontal navigation, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as seen here, and also a link to the full product catalog, as seen here. Okay, Let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, the name Rockwood is synonymous with really good quality fit and finish material, and again, that willingness to quote custom items, and this is an absolute perfect example of that willingness. Okay, I've never in 20 years I've never seen this in a in a Rockwood catalog, and again, the fasteners are included. Any questions on the RS-2-825 and a 630 finish, and it's also currently listed in the BSP Black Suede Powder Coat. Um, I did ask the factory if other base materials would be available, such as um, aluminum, brass, and bronze. And their answer was, I, I want to quote it, they are available in stainless, stainless base with a stainless or powder coat finish. They said we could potentially do brass, but would, there would have to be an order in of the material for that. So they would be the engineering department. Um, also, this would also be available in the 629 finish, which would be a polished stainless. No problem with that. Any, any questions on the RS-2-825 or any other Rockwood product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.